In this video, we will cover email notifications. Emails can be triggered either by a monitored signal or by an alarm. We will first cover monitored signals. Click on the Signal Detection Mail Setting button. In the Signal Detection Mail Delivery, mail is delivered when a signal is detected that matches the delivery condition set for each machine. Also, if the delivery condition is cleared, a detection clearance notice is delivered by email. Up to 30 different conditions, each with up to 5 different details, can be set. As you can see, I've already set up a few. To add a new condition, right-click in this box, say Add Condition and then I will give this condition a name and in this case I'm gonna say spindle temp enter and I will select the machine I can choose multiple machines or a single machine and then here in the text box is where you put in uh, the wording that will be in your email so Spindle and I have previously set up in my outlier detection uh, the level of 40 degrees which is at this point an arbitrary number Next, highlight the uh, condition and right click and say add detail. Highlight the detail and this is where you set up the truth table. So the values you can choose as bool, int, uint, double, string, judge, and score. Bool is true false or one or zero. Uh, int, uint, and double are numerical values. String is characters. Judge and score are related to the outlier detection. And in this case, I'm going to use a judge. The values that you can use in judge is 0, 1, and 2. 0 means normal condition. 1 is where I set my warning threshold and two is where I set my error threshold and in my case I have set it up for 40 so I'll select two and so the operator you can choose equals not equals less than greater than so on and so forth so I'm gonna say equals to two so when the signal equals my error limit that's my trigger. Now I'll pull down the signals. Now depending on your value type this filters out what signals are displayed here and this is pretty convenient. So since I've only set up two outlier detection limits for this machine I have a override and a spindle temp. I will choose the spindle temp and at this point I say apply and now I have finished adding in that mail rule. Some of the other ones that I've previously entered is override and the detail is it's I'm using the int and the value is greater than 100. I've selected my machines and I'm if that feed rate override is turned above 100 percent I'm gonna dispatch an email out here is a leakage detection on the newer FANUC Alpha IB servo systems have built-in dielectric uh, breakdown resistance checks like a mega ohm milder, meter in the drive unit we can monitor that diagnostic and in this case if the value is less than 10 which is 10 meg I'm gonna send out an email for that now right below this here's a servo temp and in this case I'm using an OR 
In this example, we're looking at the servo motor temperatures. And so we have our first axis, second axis, and third axis. So it's X or Y or Z will cause this email to be dispatched. Now for the PMC signal, I'm using an AND operator. So my detail is a PMC signal. If this PMC signal is true and I'm using a string value here, if my status is operate, my condition, I've chose a type of condi what the status of the machine is. Um, so if both the machine is in operation and my PMC signal is high, then I'm going to send out an email. And in this case, uh, my door safety interlocked is turned off and the machine is in operation. So I want to send that email out. So that's uh, pretty simple to set up a uh, email for a signal detection. Let's take a look at alarm emails. Now for alarms, you can set up, let me add a new condition, then a detail, and you can set it up by uh, alarm type or alarm number. So if I say it's equal to, I could say if it's a SV for a servo alarm or a PS for a, a spindle. Or, so just refer back to the FANUC maintenance manual for the different alarm types and where you can get these letters. Like a EX would be a machine side alarm. And you could also narrow it down to an actual particular alarm number. So I would select which machines, click the detail, here is my value, or if I come back here I could put in my text, whatever that may be, and then uh, hit apply and then I have a new alarm mail rule in place. So as you can see uh, setting up mail rules are, is pretty simple.